Welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We are live this morning at Shady Grove Farm in Gwynn. We are doing a modified version of a Wim Hof method workshop. There are a couple coming up this weekend. They are sold out, but if this is something that interests you and you want to try it for yourself, be sure to follow Train the Brain LLC or Tim Mann um, because he's always coming up here doing new workshops and um, doing them right here at Shady Grove. So we, we've talked about the method. We've talked about the cold immersion. We've talked about the benefits we've talked about what happens inside the body now we're going to show you a little bit of the breath work and what it looks like so i'm going to put the microphone down we're going to let tim take over and he's going to talk t and i through it and when we're done we'll go to a break and come back and talk about it <laughs> oh i thought we we're going to come back and be in the water it's not time yet okay. you have a little bit of time so yeah don't worry about that okay tim take it away all right so when you do this breath work you want to train your diaphragm to work properly a lot of people breathe from their chest and that's got a direct correlation with anxiety. So if you want to help alleviate a lot of unnecessary anxiety, you can learn how to breathe with your diaphragm and draw oxygen down low into your belly. So if you place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest and just relax and breathe as you normally would, and just notice which hand is moving. Is it the hand on your stomach or the hand on your chest? If it's the hand on your stomach, then fantastic. If it's the hand on your chest, no worries. There's little tips and tricks to get you breathing more with your diaphragm. Diaphragm's a big muscle in the human body. It's a little dome shape, sits right underneath your ribs. When you breathe, you can feel it. If you draw oxygen in very slow through your nose, take a really exaggerated, long inhale, your diaphragm should naturally bring that oxygen down deep when you do that and fill up your belly first and then your chest. So that's how we want to breathe when we're doing this breath work. Belly and then chest. Nice full breath each time. Let's speed this up for purposes of the show. So what I want you to do is just take a nice deep breath fully in, fill up your belly and then your chest and just lightly let it go. And then go right into the next one, fully in, let it go. Just sigh out, another one, fully in, let it go. Good, next one, fully in. Let it go. And then just keep going. Maintain that rhythm and that pattern. Breathe nice and deep, finishing each breath, lightly letting go, right into the next one. In an actual breathwork session, you would do about 30 of these breaths and then go into your breath hole. So let's do a couple more deep breaths all the way in. Let it go. Fully in. Let it go. Last one, we'll go fully in, fill up the belly, then the chest, lightly let it go. Don't exhale out all the way, just lightly let it go and hold. And during this time, you just completely relax and fall into your body. During a normal breath work session, you would hold your breath for as long as you could until you get that urge to breathe. And then whenever you get that urge to breathe, you would take a full inhale in. Let's go ahead and do that now. Go fully in, fill up the belly, then the chest, and hold it. You hold this position for 15 seconds. You might notice your heart rate start to increase during this time. After the 15 seconds is up, you let it go. And that's one round. And we do three to four rounds right in a row. Did you fall asleep, Tia? No. <laughs> All right, we're going to take another break and talk a little bit more about this when we come back.